Hello and welcome to Arca at Kansas. It's official this time, not the uh, <laughs> hosted race I did last time on week 13 because I was desperate for some Arca action, but instead we've got the real deal. And I've done this a couple times already. Uh, the first time was a pretty frustrating experience. Had some internet issues and other distractions and left me in a bad mood. Uh, the race still went okay. I hit the wall, which frustrated me, but just all the distractions made me grumpy, <laughs> and it did not make for a very fun video to watch if I'm just complaining all the time. So, feeling better today. Um, like I said, gave this a couple tries already, just uh, decided to have fun and learn it, make mistakes, green, green, all that green. good stuff. Okay. And, um, I still don't think I know how to save tires very well, but I'm kind of learning it might not matter all too much, because it gets so incredibly hard to pass later in the run. So I think my strategy will be first of all qualify well, which is uh, in progress, I'm doing my best. First lap will be a good one to fall back on, and then I'm really going to push it here. Get real close to the wall. Get real steady. So 31, 2, 3, 3 is not bad, but I can do better, I think. Okay, that feels pretty smooth. That down the apron, and what have we now? 233 to a 199. Sweet, we got in the ones. I can feel pretty good about that. Um, hmm. So, that was goal number one. Have a decent qualifying. I think that should bring us there. I don't know if it'll be Paul. We've got Jack, uh, I think his name's Buser, something like that. Uh, he's really fast. I remember him being really fast between him and Motegi, and I think I saw him in, uh, I don't remember, it must have been Nick's video, maybe, where he was fast. But I could definitely see him out qualifying me, but that's alright if it happens. Just uh, trying to get as close to the front as possible, and then what I'm going to do is be very aggressive off the start. Not in terms of making dangerous moves, but just uh, taking advantage of the new tires and hopefully getting as much track position as I can if it means first place then sweet and I'm gonna keep trying to get some gap get some uh, distance if I can early on and as soon as I start feeling it getting a little bit tighter then I'm gonna go more into tire save mode and I'm gonna do that I actually come into the top. I'm still gonna run the top. I'm actually gonna stab the brake a little bit, slow it down, and then uh, maybe even get a little bit of the little uh, crease there. I'm not sure. I don't think it's gonna be the best way to save tire, but I'm hoping it'll be good enough and still be fast enough that it'll still be okay. I guess maybe I still wanna run by the wall, even one tire saving. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm second now. Who do you think it is? Oh, wow. What do you know? <laughs> yeah, like I said, I knew he was going to be fast. He actually wasn't in here at first. I was thought, thinking, like, oh, maybe he'll miss it. Maybe maybe we'll have a chance. <laughs> but we're too far off. Um, just, uh, what's that, a hundredth? A couple hundredths, maybe? Yeah. So, not too concerned. I will try. I'll see what his plan is. If he's saving tires from the start, then I will try to overtake him and then try my plan. But I have the feeling he'll probably be better than I am. So. But that's okay. Not surprising there. I am the number two for a reason. And uh, hopefully we can finish number five or lower, if possible. Just want the top five. I think I'd be happy with that. So, we'll see what we can do. We got about 20 something seconds, about 19 seconds actually. We're just waiting on the seven who is 
Presumably not qualifying, but not hitting the button either. Might be a restroom break situation. <laughs> but, so I, uh, what I've got here is I've got 12 to 1. I got rid of the Arca pull to the left thing that goes on. That's the end of the session. I don't like it. And then I moved the brake bias to 60. Don't think it's going to make much of a difference. But when I stab the brake, I'm just hoping it points to the left as I like. So P2, here we go. Hopefully we'll have us, uh, ourselves a good run. Make a session last lap up and see how that evolves throughout the race. I can definitely see either A, Jack knowing how to be fast and save tires, and I never even get in front of him, or B, I get out in front, roast my tires, and then get passed by one or two or three people. <laughs> Hopefully, no, not much more than that. Than that, but um, I can see that happening. I have uh, I got a win last night doing this, running essentially 35 qualifying laps, but it was uh, kind of low strength of field. Though there was a there was a fast guy in there, and he almost got around me at the end. But I think if he had like one more lap, he would have done it. But I was able to hold him off. So it seems like you can get away with being mean to the tires to an extent. But the other thing you gotta do is not hit the wall, which is very, very easy to do. Because this thing will get, it'll be like fine one set of corners it feels like, and then all of a sudden the next corner it doesn't turn and you've got about three inches from the wall to work with <laughs> before you, uh, until you realize it's not turning, so. Very easy to slide up into that wall. And I'm going to try to do that zero times. We'll see about that. No Obviously, you don't want to do that. Treat them right and good luck. So, you going to make it? Yeah, just he's just jumping minutes. in last second. I don't know why you do that, but that's what he did. 35 laps. Rolling. You are out of tires. We're out of tires. You're on the outside this time. Pit road is closed. <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe it. How am I gonna change my tires now? I want the leader to come up. Is that a Pokemon card? I like that. Well now I gotta let him win. Just kidding. <laughs> I'll say that I let him win, though, if he does win, which he will. <laughs> I'm wondering if he's going to try a first gear start. For me, that's a little bit too quick of a shift to bother with. But he might be doing it and might get a nice little launch. We will see. Had them muted. I don't know if they were saying anything, probably not. About to go green, stay focused. Be ready. Ice car is off, be ready. Alright, felt like a decent jump the there. Speed road's open. All right, we're off to the races. Apparently he has a Twitch channel. I didn't know that. Okay, so I've, he, seems like guys are doing this thing where they're uh, purposely kind of wearing the right front early on in order to uh, give themselves more grip later. I don't think I could do that right even if I tried. So I'm not gonna do that. Looks like he's protecting the high side this time around. Interesting. I'm not going to try to make a pass on the low side. I just don't think it's going to work anyway, even if I do try. Maybe I'm going to have to uh, save tires if he's going to protect the high line. Interesting. The team doesn't seem like they're uh, in a tire saving mood. It's like... 
because they've uh, made their way forward a little bit. Mm -hmm. Might have gone for it, but I wasn't sure if he was going to try to take the low line, and I didn't want to end up running into him or something. Don't want to get caught from behind either, though. A little concerned. Don't want to be down here. Interesting. So the plan was to try to get around him, but it doesn't look like that's going to be possible. He's uh, just running in the right place to prevent that from happening. And I just, I guarantee you, if I try to pass low, do like a slide job type maneuver, it's not going to work. He's just going to pass me back. So if I pass, if I'm going to pass him, it's going to have to be on the high side. The only thing that driving down there is going to do is make me tighter. And uh, I'm not just, I don't know how these guys do the thing where they purposely do that and then use it to their advantage later. I am not capable of that, so I'm going to run my race the way I intend. Just going to be following in his footsteps, maybe looking for an opportunity. Man, he's getting close to that wall. I'm sure it's all calculated though. I'm sure he's he knows exactly where the right side of that car is. He's got triple monitors, that probably helps how he does. Keep the pressure on him though, just in case. We can make him nervous or something. I don't know any I don't know him at all or anything, I just I've run against him a number of times. To know he's fast. Maybe I'll check out his Twitch though. Didn't realize he had one. I almost uh, took myself out of it though. <laughs> Got this 13 right behind us. Still feeling good for now, but like I said, it can be like a light switch where it just uh, stops turning all of a sudden. In a way, I'm kind of trusting that Jack's not going to hit the wall in front of me. Because <laughs> if he does, I don't know where I'm going to go. Right into the back of him is where I'm going to go. I guess I do know where I'm going to go. Certainly not phased by me being right on his bumper. I wouldn't expect anything else, though. I can't be phased by the guy behind me, either. He's got to focus on my line. I 
got someone trying to make a pass. Wow, they're going for it. It's not gonna work though. Unless you hit me or something. Clear inside. Really sent it in there. Probably overdid it. <laughs> Thor decides uh, they're going to try to pass now. It's probably better to do it sooner rather than later if you're not completely confident your tires are going to be feeling great by the end of it. Yeah, I'm kind of. I'm gonna need a mistake from the one. I think if I want a chance. Tires are starting to reach that point where they're wearing. But I've already been kind of lifting off a little earlier in the corners, so I'm not like dealing with the cliff feeling. I've kind of had to alter my strategy a little bit. You know, the strategy was try to get up front right off the start and then uh, rely on how tough it is to pass to keep it but I was not able to get around him he was playing it right did what he needed to do so now I don't think there's I don't know if there's anything I could do to get around him unless he hits the wall or something so that's what we're gonna hope for now we'll see if maybe I save the tire as well by not going quite as hard from the start, but don't bank on me, uh, don't bet on me saving tires well, that's usually a bad bet. Mm, got tight on entry there, that wasn't very good. You can see that the uh, session last lap's gonna get red for a second. But I was kind of ready for it. Just that took a slightly bad angle. And that kind of hurt me. That wasn't very great either. Bad lap. I need to pull it together a little bit. 13's still going strong. They, uh, they've got this track figured out pretty well, looks like. They're uh, punching above their weight class, I guess. I don't know what their actual I rating is or anything, but low strength of field and being in the 13 car really means he's at least a couple thousand below us, so he's doing very well. Route for him as long as he doesn't wreck me. <laughs> Get on this scene a little bit. At some point, the car does start feeling a little bit loose on exit. It's also something to watch out for. It's kind of just feeling all tight at the moment, though. I, uh, I cut the apron every time. It's worth about, I don't know, two thousandths of a second. But, I don't know, you do it every lap, it starts to actually make a difference, maybe. Oh man, the car's tight. He's gonna get around me now. He's got a good corner. Not gonna give it to him, though. Still inside. Clear inside. Very nicely done. Alright, go get him, 13. Heck, if you can go catch him. It's awesome. As predicted, as is predictable for me, <laughs> I don't think I've uh, done very well to the tires. That's okay. We will manage. That's also, I was just kind of not uh, adapting quite as well as I could have to the tighter conditions. Just kind of pushing through it a little bit too much. So, um, if I make that adjustment, maybe I'll do a little bit better. But that, what he did was not easy to do. He handled that very well, so that's very impressive.
probably not. Uh, my team's probably hearing me on the radio, radio complimenting the other teams. It's like, what are you doing? Don't compliment the other teams. Go pass them again. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to happen. Now that he's around me. I think it's uh, going to be the same situation. I'm just going to have to hope for a mistake. But we've got the four behind us. We'll see if we can hold them off as well. And then we get a nice gap behind him. So it's looking like if we keep it out of the wall and uh, keep from wreck being wrecked or anything, we should be able to get ourselves a top four, which is nice. Unless maybe that three's got something up his sleeve. Maybe he's been saving tires super hard and will uh, come flying up here in the late, late going, but we'll see about that. Just trying to uh, think about what I might need to plan for, what I might need to anticipate going forward. Hmm, there's a little bit of looseness. I like it. Got on the seam. If I can do a little bit to maybe help that right rear get matched up to the right front a little bit, that's probably good for me. Jack's pulling away though. It's both of us, it looks like. Me and this 13. That damn wall keeps getting in my way. Guys have trouble with the wall. It's very, very easy to do. Brakes pretty good on entry. Oh man, this thing's tight though. I had to be super hard on the right front of that corner. This isn't feeling too good. Uh oh, whoever is the time you're gone. Oh, now you're back. Mm. You gotta power through that looseness a little bit better. You need to be more aggressive through the looseness, but counter steer it enough. It doesn't lose me time. I think that's what a faster guy would be able to do. To make it more even on the right sides. The last race I did, I ended the race at 59-59. Which at first sounds like, oh my gosh, wow, perfect tire saving. But then you realize that I just killed both tires. <laughs> which, like I said, worked. The last race I did was the one I won. But 59's a low number, <laughs> so I don't know quite what to think about that, other than those uh, tires were smoldering at the end of the race. Really just maintaining the distance to the guy behind us, and just slowly watching the guys in front crawl away just a little bit. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. They look like they have very good car control, being able to put it right next to that wall and just not get into it, so I'm not so sure. No, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. Here we come. Come on, clear. Yes, sir. Now, this is going to be interesting, because we are going to do our darndest to hold him off until the end of this thing. Even though he's just a tiny bit faster, he's going to have to make another impressive move. It's my fault he hit the wall. I started complimenting him and jinxed him. <laughs> Jack's two seconds ahead, goodness gracious. And I was able to power through the uh, looseness a little bit better there. Like it. I'm trying to pitch it a little bit more on entry. Hoping that'll help. Wasn't the. I didn't execute it very well there, though. Go 
He's going for it, and I had a bad corner coincidentally at the same time. Uh, that's going to make sure he gets it done, I think. Man, I picked the worst time to have a bad corner. Otherwise, he uh, probably would have been alongside me. Is this guy going to kill me? Get around him again. Don't mind me. So he's thinking he has some tire left. Better back off or he's going to hit me. Okay. I just have to hope that he doesn't choose to kill me with the slide job. That's what I'm saying. Like, even if you do get the slide job done, you have no momentum off the corner and someone can just cross you over. Extremely hard to pass here, but the 13 did it twice. So, they have earned the spot and then some. My tires are terrible, though. I thought I was doing okay at the start of the run, say them, but very clearly that is not the case. Floor might have uh, finished his tires off trying those slide jobs. They don't seem to have the same amount of momentum anymore. The car is extremely tight, but I'm doing my best to bring it home. I want that seam. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Oh! Uh, did he get in the wall? He might have just gotten in the wall a little bit. Hey Jason, where are you from? Scene. Good win. You, you got that speed, that's for sure. Couldn't figure out how to save tires like you do. It's a good race. Chicken flag, chicken flag. No, I cannot. Solid wood. So boring, only one lane is the good lane on these tracks. Hmm. I think if you're on the bottom, you'll save tires. You can do it for 10, 15 laps. And not lose too much time, you'll be alright. I'm in the bottom. Past six cars on the bottom, so. Let's check pretty boring. Hmm. So we got third. So bad. Maybe that's uh, maybe that guy's right. Maybe you do got to run the bottom off the start. It is pretty loose down there, but I just feel like whenever I try to run the bottom, I just slide up and it kills it, man. Seven on lap lap twenty six at the at the, um, turn three. That was a day a day a day a day. I had nowhere to break and that sent me into the wall. Fifty three sixty eight is not good. But top three is pretty good, so get on the podium and uh, keep the zero X. Yeah, the 13 passed me a couple times. They did really good. That's a good race. So they had something figured out a little bit. I mean, I swear they were running the same line as me. Maybe you just got to really commit to running that wall. <laughs> there. You do it really, really deep, it won't feel natural. Huh. Hey, we're getting the tips here. <laughs> you drive it in really deep, it won't feel natural. It will require you to get on the accelerator and save launches. <clears throat> Get 
getting on the guy. I'm hearing so many times. That's bad. Interesting. All right. A couple things to think about in the future. This might be my last run I do at Kansas this week, unless I get bored or something later, but um, something to bring to the next time we come here, or even a similar track. That's very, uh, very interesting. So we'll go ahead and check the incidents now. Camera all set up. Very nice of Jack to share some tips there. And uh, see what, uh, what else went on. Probably some bad slide jobs and some wall hits. <laughs> if I had to guess. Even early on, we got some lap three ball hits. I'll mix it. I guess uh, it's not too surprising. Even though the car's not tight, you can get loose and then have to chase it up the track and end up in the wall. Plus, I mean, at just any time you're running the wall, um, any miscalculation can have you uh, shaking hands. <laughs> so... It's a little bit of a tap there. A colorful number six. Gonna get into the wall. Of course, the Arca car just sticks to it, too, so... Might as well have duct tape all over your car. That's just killer. That's why it's so crucial to avoid getting into the wall even once. Because just look at all that time that was lost. It's just, you know, there's no cautions. You're never gonna get that time back. So you just gotta be consistent. Keep it out. So... Six, unfortunately, has not been able to do that. The other thing, too, the uh, the Orion guy, the, he was the four, I believe, that was trying to do the slide jobs. I appreciate him not just running into me whenever the slide job didn't work. Sure, the temptation was there, because <laughs> he probably felt like he was faster, but uh, he decided to lift off instead of bumping into my left side. So I do appreciate him for having that courtesy. More guys in the wall. Oh, here's all of us bunched up. Oh, very, very close. That's crazy. Speaking of, he kept it off him there, too. Oh, yeah, good times when Jack was in uh, the arms reach. <laughs> oh, nine on entry. Maybe looking in his rear view mirror instead of the safer barrier. That was jutting out speaking of wow he he got into the barrier there huh and then he came all the way back interesting he might have been able to get around us if uh, he hadn't done that very interesting number five back at 12th in the wall Ooh, he gets it off pretty quick though Still gonna lose you a bunch of time, no matter how quick you get it get it uh, out of the wall. Oh wow, that's a hard hit on entry. That's a that's a tough one. Now things might be getting a little tighter for some people about halfway through the race, so you're only gonna see even more, even more wall hits. They're gonna start piling up. And uh, it can get real dangerous when you got people right behind. And then the sudden slowdown, that's when you start getting the bigger wrecks. Taco Bell rings their bell. A wall. Looks like there were cars approaching, but apparently they didn't get into them because otherwise we would have seen that next. Okay, the 13 did get in the wall. Yes, I remember that now. They were able to pull it off, pulled it off pretty quick. So I kind of just did a cut down line on exit, got clear of them, and then made my way back to the high side. And I just wasn't able to hold them off. I just, I got to take note of what Jack said. Maybe try a couple different things. I mean, he, he says you got to like dry really in deep, really, real deep in there sorry I'm like stuttering drive it uh, really deep in there and it's just it's scary man I don't know if I'm brave enough <laughs> I mean I I don't drive it quite as close to the wall but 
that's partly on purpose because I don't want to get into the wall. So it's risk versus reward, I guess. Gotta walk that tightrope. And I just prefer my tightrope be a little wider, I guess. Oh, Jack on the wall, though. Wow, didn't know that. He still won by three seconds. <laughs> well, 13, I think, maybe might have brushed it on X at one of these corners. I don't know. That wasn't it, though. There's me trying to get on that seam, trying to see if I could find a way, but nah, he had it. And he definitely earned it. It was very nicely run. So, Jack, fast as always. <laughs> 13, but had a very nice race. And uh, overtook us. And we still got the, uh, we still got on the podium, so it feels pretty good. I definitely was bad on the right front. I don't know what I did last night when I had 59-59. I don't know how I did that, and how, because, how I did such a poor job here. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't know what I did differently, but it's okay. Top three, as the number two, very good. Congrats, congrats to Jack, and very nice run by the 13. That was fun. Always uh, enjoy the intermediates, even if Kansas is usually one of my worst ones. Wow, look at that, 0x, nobody. Even with the wall hit skip, any incidents this race. That's cool. All right. So that'll be it for this one. Uh, thankfully, no internet issues that I saw anyway. And uh, I will see you another time. Thanks for watching.